What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. After enduring the devastating effects of the July flooding, Fleming Neon Middle School is finally getting the much needed renovation to their gymnasium. You know, we've had six to eight feet of water in a, three of our schools and including this facility. So all in all, we lost three gymnasiums, um, two school cafeterias, three libraries and two football fields plus the classroom buildings of three of our schools. Despite the setback, the school showed resilience and used unaffected parts of the facilities to set up a clinic for the community. Well, we were all devastated by the flood. Um, this whole community was underwater, basically, and our school was really the only, our basement got flooded, but the actual school classrooms did not. And uh, because of that, um, we were, um, I spoke to Mrs. Johnson, she gave us permission, gave me permission to open up the school to a, um, to a doctor in the, in this community that was flooded out. So we opened a medical clinic, um, on Monday after the flood and, um, people started sending donations, first of all, to the medical clinic, to, to Dr. Baker. And then just one thing led to another. The school received overwhelming support, which has since then led to the beginning of renovations on the school gymnasium, which includes new bleachers, new flooring, and even adding AC units for the first time in the school's history. We actually started the air conditioning project before the flood. We have three gyms in our district that didn't have air conditioning, so we started on that project um, over a year ago, actually, because we it took it takes. Um, I think when we started the project, they told us it'd be 54 weeks to get the units themselves. Um, I'm looking forward to getting a gym back. I'm hopefully, it's going to be ready before graduation for eighth grade graduation here in a couple. Well, I guess next month, and um, <laughs> and um, so that's going to be exciting for the kids. Um, um, this will be the uh, first group that will be on the gym floors. However, the bleachers will not be installed, and the school will be announcing alternate seating options soon. We're very excited at the possibilities. Uh, we'll have a brand new gym floor, new ceilings, um, the air conditioning. We're excited for this to be the hub of our community, to have our students, our staff, and our fans, our community in this gym, and it be a brand new facility. Reporting from Mountain Top News, I'm Ethan Miller.